okay, so let me try to understand. Wait, I will, I will, start, I will wait for Nathan to start. By the way, speaking. most of it I got from an example, by the way. Uh, so my no, no, but that's fine. Magetta, do, do the following. The uh, start, to, start to, I like, explaining what you did yeah. already, and Lemus will be checking our audio. Then we can talk, <laughs> and Lemus will be checking yeah. my audio, your audio. So let me just increase this. <coughs> Alright, so... Uh, we're basically uh, settling, uh, we're settling the thing with the three libraries we have, so OpenGL, the GL utilities, and uh, Lisp, uh, wrapper around SDL. So from this, we basically define the widget and uh, a height for our window, our object. So we have all the vertices for object. So okay, uh, what is the what is the difference again between declaring like uh, you had other names, you have that parameter, but you had like other two mm -hmm. options, right? <laughs> I saw, by the way, that we have death constant as well. So I am, even I am and mistook, uh, even I'm confused because we have death constant. We have death. I know that a var is basically mutable, a death parameter, and we have uh, death constant. So I would say that you would declare a parameter as something that you want to use, but it acts the same way as a constant. So I'm not. Sure, like there's a lot of these functions here that do the same thing, but they're just namings for conventions. So, for example, okay, uh, no, but this is this is common. Nathan, just remember to put full screen on your watch, but oh, example, yeah, it is. For example, okay. when when is essentially the same thing as if, but it's just a <coughs> convention to make it easier to read. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a question though. So, the cube vertices is basically a list, a vector of vectors. Right. Yeah, uh, so it's it basically represents the pairs that you want to represent the 3D uh, points. Yeah, but I have a... Uh, how many use. vertices we have in the cube? Isn't it four? Why do we have... Uh, no. Eight. No, man, you need... Yeah, you need... Uh, look, for each face... Oh, no, no it's, it's 3D, I'm dumb. No, oh, it's 3D, I'm dumb. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, and what about the cube faces? So, so this is... You know the normal uh, vector that you have at the top of a... Uh, like, when you have a, a plane, you have a normal vector that is perpendicular to the thing, right? That is orthogonal, I think. So that vector is basically to, to put lightning on it. Mm. So I think it is here. It's using down here. So let me get the name. Cube faces. <laughs> so draw figure... It's basically drawing the, the planes on top of those things. Okay, okay. No, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> question, question for you. Is lightning the thing that you're using to color the cube? Uh, or are we doing color separately? You both, actually, because you define the color. But then it doesn't matter if you define the color if you don't have lightning, right? Mm. If you don't have lightning, like, it will just be a, like a plain shade of color without the texture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't think I want to go into this start function for now because it seems pretty bonkers. Yeah, so I've... what about what about defining the logic of the game? Because we just saw we yeah, just watched the video. That's what I was thinking. We can just ignore all of this and just keep testing the thing. We don't okay, need so to go over this. Let's can we make a, a new file? Me. But can we make a new file for the logic? Yeah, we because... can. Okay. We just run. So it's running like this. <laughs> Which is fun, which is rather fun. Uh, uh, so logic first, not list. I don't know. Let's do the following first. Uh, death package. Okay. Trees. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Nathan, don't forget to use the the tag for the common list because maybe the, the that guy uh, comes up oh, again. Oh yeah, I shared on on Twitter with the tag. Mm. Just company mode, AC mode, auto complete mode. <laughs> I'm just activating stuff so I don't. Yeah, but I think you disable auto complete. Uh, Lisp builder. Uh, there. 
last two. Thankfully, it didn't <laughs> appear again. Promo. Okay. <coughs> Package. Latris. Okay. So, um... Mm. <coughs> okay, so the the video that, the video that we watched is basically defining in three separate layers the the behavior of the game. So we have user input, which is basically the 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 dictator of a bunch of different mm -hmm. rules, and we have the logic of the game without in user input, which is basically like the pieces falling, <laughs> and we also have uh, what is the third layer? Uh, oh, drawing, right? Uh, okay, so drawing, we are skipping it because it's OpenGL uh, AF. Yeah. Uh, so let's focus on the... I think the easiest one is making the game without user inputs for now. Wait, the making the game without user inputs. Yeah. So I think we should go by defining the pieces, making the matrix, the board. Yes. And then yes. trying to like just fill it with like true and false. Yes, that's exactly what we left off uh, on Thursday. So let's do that. Hmm. So let uh, me just make a file here, logic, something like this. Yeah, logic.lisp. For now, it's fine. Okay, uh, so let me just I think. See one thing before. Okay. Package. Latrice. So we can share the functions. Oh, no. <laughs> that's F sharp namespaces all over again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so okay, so last last session about this, we discussed about having a two D matrix for the board. Uh, okay, we lost that code, by the way. Just for the recording purposes, we lost that code. All right, yeah, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, what? How are we gonna do this now? So, <laughs> I think I'm fine using the two D matrix, though. Yeah, so we can basically the the good part is that. Is it recording already, by the way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we can basically start by making a simple matrix, like normal matrix. Mm -hmm. And then we can easily port the logic by OpenGL because yes. OpenGL will be basically now like detached from the totally. that Tetris thing. Yes. So we have an example here. So we're not going to think about a cube. Yes, not now. About the... Because basically the third dimensional doesn't matter for the game. Yeah, uh, totally. It's just to be fancier. Uh, this, for this specific drawing project. doesn't matter to the game. Yeah, totally. The drawing doesn't matter. So how do we make a 2D matrix? Because I we lost the code. So, so I... we have a couple of functions that already do, do that. So make... Um, Array, array, I think it's make array. Yeah, make array, and then you can pass a list with the yes. uh, with the dimensions. Yeah, so ten, we're let's try 10, 10, 10, I don't know. Actually, and then you do what? like a column, right? So it should it's, be like... I, I think it's uh, 9 by 19, right? 9, nine columns and I think 19 yes. rows. 19 rows, let's see. Or it's 1020, and I'm just counting it wrong. Hmm. Ah. Uh, this is, well, it's opposite. Yeah, it's nine, the opposite of that. Nine. All right. No, but let's make it 2010, man. I it's... think it's 2010, I mean, and I'm just not counting the zero because I forgot. Let's do 2010. I think it makes sense. Well, yeah. Okay. 2010. 10, yeah. Okay, so we have the board, right? Mm -hmm. And I also remember mm -hmm. from the video that he established that all the seven pieces are in a 4x4 four by four, four by four blocks. Yeah, um, uh, so the base idea... Let me see if I can mm -hmm. draw here. Let me activate Emacs Artist Mode. So, imagine you have a piece like a T. So a T is something like this, right? Yes. Uh, so the Best way thing. to do it... Can you guys hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah, I can. Holy mm -hmm. fuck, I was. <laughs> but can you hear uh, me like fine without? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was not being able to talk for a moment. Okay. So let, let's go back here. So mm -hmm. the thing here, uh, oops, this is. So the thing is like think of the, of this thing. I'm trying to make an arrow, by the way. <laughs> this is <pretty> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> trying to rotate this up here and think of this piece as like 
all the positions that you can rotate into. Holy man! Mm -hmm. And from this thing, you can actually define the uh, the the rotation plane for this thing. So it's gonna actually end up being like a, a square anyway. Yeah, all, all of them are square. But man, <laughs> if we have a matrix, can can't we make the rotations being like transposing or something like that? Yeah, that's exactly the idea. Oh, like you basically that would be have awesome. The, because here's the thing, uh, that's the beauty of it, because you basically have a, a set of coordinates, a base coordinates for like a T, uh, we had names for these pieces, right? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, we saw we last time. We have a T, well. and we have a set of coordinates for these things. And then from <laughs> this, we can basically transpose the coordinates of this thing already, and then we just check if the coordinates are conflicting with a matrix, because yes. here's the operation, it's going to be the coordinate, it's a vectorial uh, multiplication, which is, Lisp is amazing for that. Uh, so we can do something like a matrix that is the transformation uh, with the piece. So these are the piece coordinates times some mm. matrix, uh, which is going to be the transformation matrix. And then the resulting thing is the position matrix, which is the new transposable piece. Okay, yeah, wait a sec. Just one thing, guy. Depending on the amount of work that you have to do, that transposition or transformation matrix is not worth it. No, but that's the thing. Uh, can don't we have a built-in function for arrays that like do transpose? We have to make transpose by hand. That would be really. Oh, okay. Now I see what you're talking about. We can make a, a transposing is also a multiplication of matri matrices, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, that's fancy, man. I so like it. You, <laughs> like, let me just test one thing here. I don't know if Lisp does this. And okay, so does, let, I know, let, let I me know just. That it does this. Okay, so meanwhile, <laughs> while you're testing this, I just uh, let me just explain this to Nathan. Nathan, uh, there's a. It like this is a linear algebra, by the way. Uh, but there's a there's a I don't know an axiom or a theorem that says that to in order to transpose a matrix, you just need to multiply that matrix by other hard coded matrix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Can, what was the transpose operation again? The transpose operation is to make the columns like the rows, the columns, or something like that. Yeah, rows, the columns, and the columns, the rows. So you are. Oh, okay. Rotating. Yeah, and that's the thing. This is similar to rotation in our case, okay. right? Yeah. So we are using a linear algebra concept in to make the game. Okay. So think about this. Uh, can I draw something here? Oh, let's take this one with a grid. Uh, so the base idea we have here, uh, let me just get this pencil. Uh, we did that is acceptable. Okay, so imagine a T like this. That's what I was explaining. Yeah. So that's let's so suppose a T falls like this. Okay. So what what are the the things that it can fall in? It can be like this, right? Yes. It can be like this. But like we don't need to handle all these positions, right? We just need to handle the coordinates for the base piece. So, for example, let's suppose the base coordinates for this piece would be yeah. 0, 0. Imagine this is 0, 0. Oh, this is pretty bad, right? 0, <laughs> 1. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't laugh, man. Don't laugh. I love it because you were the one saying this is pretty bad, right? <laughs> oh, man. I do have a, a thing to write here, though. Uh, oh, man. You have the text, oh, man. There are the T. Where is the T? No, but I think, I, think, left. I think all of us got the point. Oh, I here. Think... Yeah, I don't think that is a point in drawing now. <laughs> right, okay. But I think this is better. So you have like 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, you got the idea, right? So yeah. 0, 2. No, but the, the uh, fancy, the, the, the most critical concept of this is that all pieces can be reduced to 4 by 4. Yeah, exactly. So you basically make a, a box with this thing. Yes. And then you just like rotate the pieces. Yes. Uh, the transformation function will be like, okay, I press the uh, the arrow, I press like X, I don't know, on the keyboard. And then we rotate like to the right, so clockwise. So you're basically just doing a multiplication of ma of vectors. Like that's that's it. So that's uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm in, let's start to implement that. 
Like, uh, I don't know. No, I first do the coordinates, right? So uh, what do you mean do by the coordinates, though? You know what I'm thinking about? I think this is a pretty good use case for our for a sequence moment. Uh, wait, 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 Magetta, Magetta. Uh, mm-hmm. l- let's do that simple thing first, man. No, uh, dude, 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 think, think about this. No, like, no, wait, I'm wait, you is... don't know what I'm talking about. I'm saying yeah. we are agreeing, right, that all the pieces will be a far by far matrix, right? Yeah. You can start by, implement, by implementing create piece whatever, and then he returns that kind yeah, of that's matrix. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do, man. With the sequence monad? No, dude. Oh. I'm just talking about the sequence monad is the good thing for multiplication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in we this don't case have it to is. worry because you. I was testing here. Like you can't multiply like a list with another thing. So one, two, three, for example. One, two, three. You might have like a function to do it. Like you can. That's the thing. I, 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 but I, I think that uh, the array, uh, some array operation that uh, it. I can't believe that the array implementation list doesn't have this sort of thing. Oh, I can't the, even believe hey, that. hey, the common list guy is here. Maybe he knows a way to multiply <laughs> <laughs> matrix already in common list. No, but there's a thing, man. I think I, I found, I started researching this on, uh, on Google, and I don't, I don't know if we have a matrix that we can multiply and always get it transposed. Ooh, uh, there's which... Actually, well, we, we could do the logic like with the indexes, right? We could. Yeah, but, yeah, but <laughs> we could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. That's why I mentioned the uh, sequence moment. Yeah. Oh no, that is no built in matrix multiplication in common list. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a yeah, we have to use the there. sequence moment then. Oh man. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you explain how you want to do that with the sequence monad? No, no, no. Let's not. No, no. Let's not jump yeah, into that's, that. That's right like now. a thing for later. Like. Oh, okay. So let's, let's create the pieces. Let's just have the. Let's create the pieces. Yes. Let's create the pieces. So oh, let's each, think. Each piece is a four by so four. So it's that's it's fine. actually a good use case for class. Okay, that's so, fine. We could make like a class. I'm thinking like we could make a class for a piece, but that doesn't make really. We can make well, just a function sense. for a piece, man. Or maybe a create piece oh, yes, and returns. No, a, and I'm saying because you can put the addresses inside the object itself, like with this. <laughs> what do you mean by you address? You make an instance. You make a a class that has one in, one attribute, which is the coordinates of it. And then from that coordinate, you actually can make a method later that is like rotate that manages the to change its coordinates. Mm. And that's basically, dude. It's basically object oriented, man. Like it's just a, uh, an instance of a thing that you more define the thing itself. Like that's it. Okay, so are we gonna be using class or not in this particular case? I don't see why not. That's the thing. Okay, so let's just go. So, uh, let me think of a name. So, I don't think it makes sense to make inheritance and all that, so we're just going to ignore it. And uh, peace. So just peace. Uh, what do you receive? Yeah, like a symbol on the construct? Yeah, I think... Know I what think is the yeah. piece? No, no, dude. No, no. That doesn't no. make sense. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense to make a super class piece and inherit all no, the... No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. That's not wait. what Nathan said. No, that's not what I'm saying. The representation would be the same. Then you can have the same class, the same object, but on the constructor, you receive a mm-hmm. symbol and then you put that in a property or something. And oh, so creates... like a match, something like this. Yeah, yeah you, you could save or... Square no, right square. Square. Yeah, but like the, the, the benefit of having like a, a class like this uh, that is distinct on others is that... Okay, if you want to ignore what kind of piece it is, then it kind of makes sense. Like, I, I think we don't actually need to know later which piece it is, but if we do... You can just use a property and set that on the symbol that you are receiving on the constructor. I was thinking of two yeah. things. Like, if you declare a class like this, you can have, like, uh, I didn't Because you want to check control. for instances, right? Oh, is that a yeah, instance of like, this? Like, is this a block? Like, something like this, you can do that. Yes. But I think since we're going to fill the thing with, like, just the coordinates, it doesn't matter which piece it is. 
And if you do, we can in the future just put a property with that symbol, right? Yeah. So I think I, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused hmm? about what you mean with 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 the position, Magetta. Like the coordinates. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by that? Mm, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, because in my in can my I eyes, try to explain. Every single piece will be a four by four square. So yeah, yeah, but do you agree that suppose we get the reference, for instance, the left top corner of that piece that is like four by four, we have a state for that in which mm-hmm. part of the grid that piece is. That's a mutable state inside that object that we will be updating. That I think that's the coordinate that Magetta is talking about. Hmm. Okay, so it's that's the really... coordinate of the piece itself inside the square. Inside the grid. Inside the, in the grid, the, the external grid? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I was thinking of like rotating, like managing rotation in the thing itself, and then we port it to here, given some point of reference in the, in the coordinates. So we make a convention of like, uh, you get always zero, zero as the main position so you can start drawing. So you're not worried with this thing here. This is just for movement. So in collision, for example, you just check it here. Like no, no, you're trying but, to but I mean, uh, you have the 4x4 four four there, right? The piece is in a specific place. Let's suppose we are using the left top corner. Mm. You will need to start that somewhere, right? The left? The, wait, say it again. Uh, the piece that you have, it's a 4x4 four four matrix. It is, it is somewhere. Oh, not necessarily. Hmm? Necessarily a four by four, but like it's a, it's like a rectangle, something like this. No, no, it is, no, no, a, it four is by a four, four by four. It, they it can be, four four. they can be false or true. That will get like the piece shape, but he's inside the four by four matrix, right? The all the pieces, all, the, all pieces, so like, all, all seven pieces, no might get, can be comprised in a four by four square. Well, you can, but like you're wasting a lot of more stuff. No, like no, no, because that. that way you can treat all of those the same way. Yes, that's the trick from okay, the video. Okay, man. I get it. So you're basically want to not make like, uh, you make even shaped vectors. So you can yeah, by, it by the yes. way, it, it's not, it's yeah, not okay. us, Magetta. It's the video that we are. Yeah, watching. the video guy. The guy from the video that I will share on the description uh, later here on, the, on oh, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Uh, so his plan was okay. Every single piece of the of the game, all seven pieces can be comprised in a four by four with empty mm-hmm. space. But the empty space kind of doesn't matter at this stage of at this stage of modeling because this only matters for collision mm-hmm. later. So what you're gonna do here is treat every single piece as a matrix four by four with ones and zeros, which will make transposing them easier. I think with the, the moment it would change much, though. No, no. If with the moment it kind of doesn't matter, but I now I I think you see our, the point that I yeah, was maybe. I am mm-hmm. in the same boat as Nathan's. Uh, so I am in favor of trying it out the four by four square approach first. Uh, okay, but because let's it's see, four by four would be this. So for for example, this is the longest piece, right? Yeah, this is the longest piece. <laughs> And okay. then there's there's another there is another thing. Why is this a square? Because the if you rotate the the largest piece, it always be can always yeah, it be always comprised. falls into a square. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And all the pieces can be like this. Mm-hmm. So what about having a function like that picks a piece? That like we're gonna have to provide we're gonna have some names, right? So a name for a piece. And we put so the coordinates of the top left corner of the square, and we spawn the piece on the grid on that set of coordinates. Like you get, for example, where my pointer is, and then you spawn the thing by there. Is that it? Uh yeah, Start but drawing. Yeah, but that coordinate I would I would like it to be uh stayed inside this object of the piece. Okay. What is the problem? No, that, that's not a problem. That's not, that's not a problem. It's just a suggestion okay. from Anton. Okay, so for instance, what about the names of the piece? The pieces we I have it here. Wait, oh, the so what? The angle? No, the names. Oh. <laughs> oh, we can pass uh, a thing to it. 
Okay. I just don't remember how to make the classes probably. So let me see. Uh, death class, common lisp. Okay, but I think there's a theorem that says that every square mm. matrix, like that, there has some conditions, mm. has a transposable whatever. Man, just so, search how to rotate like a uh, n for n matrix, like in Google. See if we. You're gonna find a bunch of theorems doing that. I don't recommend doing that. Multiply, <laughs> you can multiply by the identity and the inverse matrix. I think. I, but I you're gonna have to inverse by hand, man. Uh, yeah, wait, what is the inverse no! operation? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> folks, folks, what is the inverse <laughs> operation again? Uh, one by over one over that thing. If it's on the monad, it's easy. Wait, uh, mm. you guys or are not do like a... not helping me here. Like Okay, uh, no, no, okay. So there's a calculation oh, that okay. There's like, a calculation okay. in, in that I don't know how to the pronounce pronounce in English. Uh, Maybe it's the determinant. Is, is that yeah. how it calls? I, I okay. remember that the name. determinant, I think. Okay, so every doesn't level. matter, man. It kind of doesn't matter. Just trust the monad. You can, you can, you can show a picture of like, okay, that's before, that's after the inverse. Basically, inverting a matrix is like, okay. get the determinant and multiply by each thing. Which you, we can encode, like there's a Kramer mm. algorithm, which is very easy. Um, so basically, like this is the inverse mat matrix of this that is equals to the identity. You see, this is not what I, what we want. Nothing. Look, yeah, look yeah. at the a and a inverse. Look, they are totally different, right? We have four three three two minus two three three minus four. Yeah, what we okay. want is the transpose. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. The transpose matrix is the one that only messes around with like rows and columns. See? So that's what we need to do. Yes. Like, we need to flip them. Ah. Yes. Oh, okay, because that's 340. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, some more examples here. So but we a have square, a property. It's very easy. Yeah, it's a square, which is awesome. Uh, because you don't have to mess around with dimensions and, and crap like that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so let's make a class then. So, there is. I just grabbed okay. the notation there. So okay, so we have a name. Arguments. So let me just set something here. Uh, uh, this is a default thing, by the way. So I think... Yeah, we don't can... want defaults, man. Yeah, we don't... This will be the name of the piece, so like we can set uh, the kind. Let's set the kind. It's actually better. King. Uh, and this will be the set of coordinates. So we should make like vectors here, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a, 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 a make array. Make array 4x4. Four four. Uh... Oops. Wait, is this a tuple, man? Coordinates? Oh, is no, this is this the, oh, this is the coordinates of the top left? Yeah, it's just a tuple. Oh, okay, okay, I was going crazy. And okay. that one, you can put a a default on, because it will always be the same, because it will always spawn in the same place. Yes, we can make that happen. Let me just think of oh, the guy is need... saying here, like, is in it far for the default? Yeah, you need... And you need R. You, need R, you, the R yeah. you pass a key, right? Oh, so like yeah. When you're gonna declare, I think you make like this. I think you can pass like the key. I think that's it. Wait, wait, wait. What's the difference between init arg and init form again? Uh, the init arg, I think, uh, or the guy might correct me, but I think the init form basically you start with a default thing, okay. so you don't don't pass a thing when the, okay. you're gonna okay. make an instance of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the arg, when you make an instance, you actually need to pass the thing with a key. key oh, value. it's mandatory then. Yeah. Okay. I think okay. that's the case. Uh, okay, makes an sense. example here. <coughs> name. Uh, def var, make instance person, you see? Like name is name. Oh, name. okay. Ah, uh -huh. Nice. Okay, so the coordinates are just a tuple, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, how yeah, do we say that to a list? Vector, actually. Well, we can pass a new thing. So, like, we can pass this. Uh, let's just see, folks. What is the center? Wh where do we want to install the that stuff? Considering uh, that that will be like a uh, left top wait, corner. Where do we want to install the thing? Yes, that's a good yeah, question. On the middle oh, of the, middle, the right? yeah. yes, yes, exactly. The like right, right there. Yeah, exactly that one. That yeah, you... so instead of an empty vector, uh, Magita, puts that, that coordinate right there. 
So what is that? Okay, that is all right. zero. So you want me oh. to already start the vector with that position? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. By, by the way, I was making a no because here's the thing. I was thinking of making a new function that basically draw makes the coordinate given some kind of piece. Like this is just to actually define the base thing. No, no, no. Wait, Magetta. Isn't it better for you to create an object that then you have the coordinates, you have like your matrix stored there. Maybe you have a kind, and then when you start, it's already the spawn, right? When you like instantiate a piece, Here's the thing. you you're are actually spawning. A... Hmm? But you're just gonna make a coordinate with that only thing. Huh? I'm not. You're Can just you gonna make one point here that is just this. Yeah, um, it is one point zero, like X and Y. That's zero, zero, zero. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Zero, four, <coughs> yeah, because we have methods to update that. If, like, we check for collision... Yeah, but and... here's the thing, you will have to actually make the square here already. So that's what I was trying to avoid. Uh, what do you mean? No, we, we don't need to... Wait, uh, we you don't need... to make, like, on different positions, because this is basically breaking the thing. Like, this is allowing, like, to start with different dimensions already. Uh, I'm not getting uh, I'm also confused. I'm also confused. What Natan right. is saying is the following. Every mm. single time you create a piece, the piece is already being born inside the grid. And it's already yeah. in zero four, which is what we want. Right. Yeah, but so, I'm just defining this the structure for the type. I don't want to define this the, the values for the type already. That would be for like a, a neat constructor or something like this. No, no, but, oh, but so this is not a constructor then. Isn't that the default one? Oh the man, I just value. wanted to make, dude. I just want, uh, yeah, but I don't want to use the default. That's what I'm saying. I just wanted to make, like, okay. for example, make do, do your thing. Okay. Piece, piece, and then you pass like kind, and then you pass a symbol. Let's say a T, something like that. Actually, this is pretty bad because this is true. <laughs> 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 That's better. Uh, you pass this, uh, and then let me see. And then the coordinates, coordinates. You pass like a function that generates the coordinates given. So this should be a function, like no, no but uh, it's always the same. Yeah, that, no, that's a question that I want to make to you, Magetta. Do you agree mm -hmm. that every single time we create, a, we make an instance of a piece, the coordinates will always be the same? Oh, don't you agree no. with that? No. Mm. The coordinates for this piece, like an empty piece, so that means that only the start position will be this. But what I want to do is already start with all the blocks here already. No, no, Magetta. Wait, Magetta, Magetta, Magetta. Uh, uh, I Magetta, think Magetta. I understood. Wait, okay, go. Wait, go. In inside the object, you will have a matrix of 4x4. Four four. See? And depending on which kind you receive, some of yeah. those zeros will be ones. The coordinate is to locate that matrix on the grid. That's not the matrix itself. So what you guys are talking about is only putting it in here. It's Just only a vector. So, dude, why? Because we need that to keep track of where this is on the grid. It's a lot easier to just save the coordinates for the piece, like where is it one and where is it true? Where is it false? Uh, <laughs> we need I, I both. Don't think I don't think we're oh, talking about the same thing, man. I was, I was talking about this. Like, you just make a piece, like what is a, like an L piece? It's basically one, 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 I think it's this, right? Yes, yeah. yes, it is, is that. Zero here? Yeah, zero, okay. zero, 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 and... So you can imagine zeros here. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> so, too expensive for you my friend oh, i'm oh, sorry uh, oh yeah, my god <laughs> oh man <laughs> too expensive. Okay, okay you're happy there it is <laughs> All right, so, what i was thinking is like instead of like saving uh the things just save the coordinates for all of this thing which is like gonna represent this piece instead of representing only the start position for it in here what you guys want to do is basically just save this position where the piece starts, right? The block starts. And then from that onwards, you read four by four to the right and the left. The, yes. To the right. Down. And, well, right. Yeah, and down. 
Yes, that was. Uh, I think not, that I... was the Tantans and my ideas. We okay. are thinking about the same thing. What I was thinking is is doing the following: like uh, you define this entire thing on the definition. So when you start the thing, you define mm -hmm. all of this. Okay, which is fine. And then you just spot the positions here. So for example, the positions that will be once, then you just store the the things in here. And then like true or something like whatever. No, but and that would be a pain. We don't we don't need, need, need that though. Piece. No, 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 but uh, wait, it's not done. Wait. Do you agree Magetta that that doing like that passing the coordinates that that makes the ones the ones that's a really painful way of doing this? I don't think so, man. Uh, wait. You pref you actually prefer instead of saving the this final result inside the class, you actually prefer to pass the coordinates individually? It's not the passing the coordinates; it's just passing the object. So it's literally making this. Okay, so the coordinates of the ones would be inside the the the, the piece itself. Yeah, is that it? it? Is. This is the uh, piece. That's what I was thinking, folks. Uh, let me try to like go. Uh, like step by step of what I'm thinking and you guys can see oh okay that doesn't make sense for me oh I'm mm -hmm. not understanding that so mm -hmm. what I was imagining from what I see on the video was the following we create a class like of a piece right and in the constructor we receive one thing only we receive what kind of piece it is you can think of it of a, uh, as of a symbol or a string, maybe, if you are like in a worse language. Uh, so then you will have like a few things start in this object. You will have a matrix that is like the representation of the piece. And you will have the coordinates. That would be in which position that piece is located on the grid. It's not actually in the grid. You see, it's only where it's will be draw, but it's not actually there. It's not a one in the grid. It will be only a one when it hit the ground and it fuses with the grid. Then we can like despawn the piece, and the ones will be part of the uh, the grid. Doesn't need to be a piece anymore, right? Uh, okay, I think you got what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me let me just okay good you can finish uh so for instance then if we do something like rotate piece then we can do something like the following oh okay knowing that i'm in this coordinate and my representation is this i can already check for collisions and then i check if i can do that then i either alterate my matrix representation to do a rotation if instead of a rotation you are doing a movement, then you can uh, update your uh, your coordinates after checking for collisions, and that's it. And I think I am with not. I, I, that's exactly not exactly because that's that's not that's a lot more really pain. weird. I just think it's a lot more pain to check the positions from the starting point than actually just having the coordinates and overlapping them and see what overlaps with other. Wait. Yeah, I'm not understanding. Because here's the thing. No, no, if wait, wait. To, for example, you have these sets of things here. No, don't think this of this as coordinates, by the way. This is not coordinates. This is literally just how it writes. No, okay, the, uh, the matrix, right? Yeah. So when you're gonna like write this on the screen, you're gonna check the 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 thing that is already in there, right? So you start by the the, the position and you get and you grab this thing. And then you say, okay, so is there something that is a one in here? So if there is something that is a one in here, then you cannot like place it like this. So that's what I was thinking. Oh, I see. You were. Oh man, uh, Nathan and you, you were you you guys are thinking in a completely different direct, yeah, opposite direction. Wait, wait but can you guys Nathan, explain? I'm I'm yes, not getting it. Yes, I can. It yet. I can explain. I can. So you, Nathan, you the, the the your thought process was okay. Let me spawn a piece. At a specific place, and then I will be able to handle collisions after spawn. Magetta's idea is to before checking spawning before. the thing, we yeah. are checking before. You see, but but I don't think that makes sense because we always gonna spawn a piece in an empty place. 
Well, not necessarily. No, here's the thing. Wait, I'm Mageta, not, what do you mean by spawn? The... You no, mean no, no. that drawing? Yeah, spawn is a bad word, yes. Oh, moving. we are not thinking That's about the I mean. same thing, though. Yeah, for example, moving. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So, spawning the piece, then that's easy because, well, it's going to be empty here the first time. Okay, just spawn it. Yes. Let's suppose you have like ones here. Oh, okay, then nice. It's gonna... Now, if I get this as a start position and then I try to write this piece here, here, then it's going to fail because okay. it's yes. going it gonna, to like, overlap. Okay. Yeah, it's going to detect the, the collision before it, I actually allow the thing to like move. And then it's gonna say okay, so I cannot do this, so game over. Okay, That's so what I, I have said. a proposal. No, no, but I have a proposal for you, Magita. Don't, don't you remember that last session, Nathan suggested to have some sort of like, of like a border on, that we were not gonna hinder w with OpenGL, and it, that secret region will be always the region for spawning, because this solves your so your problem. Because your problem is when you have ones at the top, and then you cannot spawn the piece because it's gonna conflict. When the piece actually moves, oh, like enters the. Right? Uh, even if you like transpose, for example, like, that's the. Yeah, but don't you agree that when you, we have like an imp, a, a hidden, a hidden portion of the of the of the grid, where we we know that it's safe to spawn a piece. Oh, I think I see a problem that will make this invalid. But go on. So then, this hidden region that we're gonna spawn a piece, the the user, the ones will never reach this region. The ones from the user playing the game, right? The, this region will be safe because when the user have ones that it will that will potentially overlap, like the like in, go uh, on this threshold, we're gonna just finish the game. We're just go, we're just gonna end the game. We can because... illustrate that. Uh, see the far like row, yeah, the fourth row. Suppose that will be. Where Seems like will be the safe zone, right? Yeah. yeah I, until there, that's like the mm -hmm. bottom of our like safe zone. We always spawn until there, and then suppose the next one, it's the top okay, that the user will see. Yeah. So if there is already, mm, wait. <laughs> yeah, oh. when the one above, well above, no below. Yes. When the one below. That one, that fourth one, is one. Then the game's already over. So you can yes. always spawn safely. Yeah. No, but I went to heard Magetta's. Uh, he he said that he found a problem. Uh, I'm thinking now. Maybe it's not. <coughs> Sorry. I was just thinking of. Uh, imagine you wanna do something that is like. Imagine there's a wall here. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Oh, it's, the That's only, <laughs> it's the read only buffer. But anyway, imagine you have a wall here. Okay. Uh, okay. And then it, like you want to move this piece. I was thinking if I try to write uh, the thing, but that's not a problem because I can just like separate both pieces. So that's not a problem. Oh, oh no, one that... thing. Uh, the thing that I'm thinking about is okay, you have the grid there, but while you, you are controlling the piece, the piece is not in the grid. We are drawing in the screen for the user, but the ones from the piece are not in the grid. They are separate. We are just drawing on the screen together. When we have some collision with the bottom ones, right? Not the wall, the bottom ones. Then it becomes like part of the grid. It's not a piece anymore. Then we can draw that on the grid and just forget about the piece. Like the piece is dead, right? No, no, but the piece needs to be drawn anyway, man. No, no, like, no, no. That, but now it will be the grid. Oh, okay. So now I got it. So you are dif dif differentiating between a piece and the yeah the pieces piece that are already that... settled down. Yes, 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 yes. That's the grid. Uh, it's not a piece okay. anymore. Okay, so when it hits the ground, it transforms it to like you lose your role as a piece, yeah. and now you are <laughs> only part of the grid. Yeah. Be said. Okay. Um, okay, so, okay, so what so do you... Let's think of this now. Okay. <laughs> now I think it makes sense not to make a vector of vectors. Okay. Um, do we have tuples? But, uh, tuples would be nice. Well, you have like a cons thing, but like, you can make like uh, something like this. Let me show here. Well, cons, if like the cons is the only way, and oh. this is doing a list, then I would prefer the array or vector, man. 
because well, we I don't have to do like a list. So yeah, yeah, I know, I, don't know why I know. You want that? You yeah. just want like a pair, right? Yeah, a yes. pair. Yeah, man, this is fine. Like, yeah, uh, it's yeah. good. It's good. Oh man, a little bit of syntax sugar. I like it. But anyway, no, no. But like, it's better than a list because then we would have to head and tail and head, right? I don't know if this is a thing in Common Lisp. Uh, you can actually do like dots. I think in Scheme. Uh, wait, hey, hey, uh, Lemus, but is the thing that we were talking two. about, like an array of two, is just a tuple, man? Wait. No, if they are the same type, the representation yeah. is the same. Yeah, they are. I know. That's what I said. I, I like some. These sort of syntax sugars that, oh, we sort of. I would disagree with you. Oh, so do you you prefer to have a cones and head and mess with heads and tails? It's not a matter of preferring. It's the matter that identifying the types are irrelevant to the dynamics of the language. So that's the difference. no. But we're not talking about the same thing then. I'm yeah, talking I about am. instead of writing like cones one and then cones two, yeah, I just write parentheses. Of, and, yeah, you're talking about the practical application of the thing. I get it. Uh, and if you like want to do the thing like in two different ways and one is easier, like it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's now. Okay, so, so what do you guys I think? I just want to have one question. Okay, um, go. Suppose okay, we we are tracking the beginning of this piece, right? Yes. How do square. we know if this piece is rotated or not? Like, how are you gonna map the coordinates of this piece? Mm? We don't need to know. Why? Okay, so let, let me try to explain why I think we don't need to know. Because inside this class, we're going to have a mat, uh, the, its representation as well. And then the mm -hmm. default we're going to define the default representation. For instance, the L, I think the defor default representation should be L, like in the L form, let's say, like alphabetically speaking. Okay, uh, you, but okay, what, is if, what if it's rotated? <laughs> no, <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because when you have a, a function rotate, you're gonna pass a piece, and the rotation function will transpose the oh, internal that, cuts. Wait, the only thing that needs to care about the actual representation it's collision checking, and collision checking only so cares about instead because I was thinking of saving the things in the in the instance. You guys are not thinking about this. You're no, no, thinking I'm about... thinking about putting the matrix representation inside the instance. Thinking. I also, what? I am thinking. Dude, I'm totally confused then. I, I'm not thinking the same <laughs> thing because I was thinking if you don't save, then it makes sense because you basically rotate as many times you want to get into the thing, the position of the piece you want because you, you go from the kind of the piece, right? Okay. So, for example, it's an L that is rotated like twice, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you get like, okay, so an L should be like backflip. Okay, Magetta, let me ask you one thing. What is the piece of code or logic that needs to care where exactly is our PC drawn? Like, what are the ones and zeros? What is the lo Collision. piece of logic? Is the what? Collision. Collision, right? Uh, okay, yeah. so collision, I think that they only need to receive the representation because from that, we can yeah, see... Yeah, but oh, what is the representation? That's my, my question. That's the thing. Well, let's go step by step. So I will say to you right now, inside a, 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 the, the class, the piece class, we have the, three things. We have the kind, which is basically the identifier. If you we want, the, we don't need that, maybe. Uh, not, not having that would, would be really bad, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, coordinates, which is the coordinates of like where the top left pixel is. And it always starts at 0, 4, because this is going to be our safety zone. And we're also going to have a third member inside this class called representation. The representation will be a vector or an array, uh, a 2D array, which is going to be the ones and zeros representing the piece. To rotate a piece, you just pass, you, we're going to create a oh, function okay. called rotate. So that is the problem that I was finding. You, you are actually also representing the coordinates of the thing, not only the start position. No, that's not coordinates. That's not coordinates. Okay, we are representing the co coordinates. Is okay, change this no, name? I, change this name. Yeah, Start yeah, position. Yeah. Start I, and we're position. talking about the same thing. Uh, the only thing is the name. Yeah, position. Put that instead of coordinates. Put position. Init position. Init is bad. Let's just put position. Position. And then we're gonna have a, a third guy, which is gonna be okay. representation, which is gonna be a two D array, 
And when you want to rotate a piece, we're just gonna pick the representation from the piece. Maybe and representation is not the best name ever. Uh, we can think of something better, maybe. Okay, later. The, for, so, for instance, uh, uh, these three things, I think, are enough to uh, to use rotation. And I think later, when you're gonna deal with collision, we can just consult the the current representation to check for collision. You see. Okay, so what do we store in the representation? Zeros and ones. Zeros and ones. Yes. Okay, so it's a. Uh, okay, I'm confused because I was talking about this, but without the position. You guys are talking about this with the position. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, but there's a problem, though. There's a. No, no, it's not a problem Which per se, one? but it sucks. We're going to have to make a function that does better matching with the kind. Why? Why do we because, need to know what because, is this specific piece is? Because if the kind is L1, we're going to have to make the L like up, like the L, the normal L. Okay. If it's L2, we're going to have to reverse horizontally the L. The, the default representation, the initial Instead, position... This wouldn't be a problem if we had classes for each guy. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, That's true. Uh, wait, That's wait, true. wait, wait, wait. Can, can you try to, to finish limbs? I'm not sure if I'm getting your point. Okay, so do you see that we have two types of L in Tetris? Do you uh, see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how are we gonna make the initial representation without rotation when we use the sheet? <laughs> Man, that's hard coded. Like if it's like L one, then I need this matrix. It's an if. if no, it's I'm. L2, I'm so we are talking about the same thing. So, oh, but then sorry. we are now. We need to discuss. We're gonna have a class for each of the pieces. Or we're gonna have one single class for piece, and we're gonna have an auxiliary function that picks the kind and returns the hard coded matrix. Uh, I would prefer uh, having only one class, and the if would be on the constructor level. So what is the benefit, man? Well, the I benefit also don't... is only There's... one kind let, of. Let me show what I'm thinking here. It's actually. Let me try to do something like oh okay we don't have types right oh okay we don't yeah, we don't thing. have no, types <laughs> no 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 but this is parada's rule we don't we don't have to the luxury of having types so, can you find the names of the pieces like, yes i can the, i just make a t because i know it's the same thing yeah the t is, is a one uh I okay so we have the t that the argument that we receive those instances don't need to agree with the type, right? Oh yeah, man. Okay, I see. okay so we have Ah, uh, uh, but that that is a bad thing, like folks. Two. That is a bad thing. We will have to re-implement a bunch of methods for a bunch of classes. That's true. That's a trade-off. I, I think um, that's a big trade-off. Okay, like <laughs> what is the advantage method? of having No, okay, 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 okay. For a method like oh, oops! Oh, yeah. you can have a detached method, right? And yeah, but here's holy! The thing. But wait, <laughs> don't hold your horses because I think that's indeed a problem. Uh, because on a method, you're gonna have to pass an item of a thing, so this is gonna be like two piece. So oh, it should signal so signal that this is a method of the thing. Probably you can do something like that. Is a polymorphic method something like this? That would be cool, man. That would be awesome. And by but the I way, think that's too too much. Just to okay. So I found that all pieces they have okay. names with letters, man. So we have the G, we have the L. We Are have you the taking Z. a look on the Tetris guidelines? I mean, okay, looking like at Tetris dot fandom, man. Oh. oh, yeah, but it's probably the guideline. Okay, so we have the I, I we have J, we have. Um, Let's just use this, man. It's actually easier. Uh, but but hey, how? Can okay, you guys have just to... trying to explain what is the advantages that you folks were take uh, seeing on have like different classes? Uh, you can basically check it if an instance is of some class. So I oh, think for check the for the kind, right? And this yeah, is kind exactly. of cheating because he's kind of oh, making a type, uh, quote see. unquote. I see. I see, <laughs> <your> <laughs> I see really, your point. I see your point. Yeah, but it's not really that hard because you can just check by the instance and get that you have this accessor. The thing. kind, yes, right? Yes. Which, by the way, let me change. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing, I guess, you would not need like to do an if on the constructor, right? So let me just fix this. And also one. change the co the second coordinates. I think is wrong, man. Oh, you hey, have an accessor. hey, the guy is warning us. Like, 
he is saying that all the methods are already polymorphic. Okay. Mm, which? So, okay, so if it, if I do something like a uh, death method, is this what it is talking about? Actually, we have an example here. Which, you don't need to make for a specific stuff. Uh, or you can. How do you declare multiple, that? I don't know. Let me just find a method. Okay, maybe. but if we're gonna have different classes for for all the pieces, I think it doesn't make sense to have the coordinates there anymore. Here. Here's what uh, I was thinking, like, you need it, to pass it, a person, but... Oh, to update the movement, yeah, we need we need the coordinates, okay, no, so... I, I would prefer it's... doing only one class, just because it's simpler. Mm. I think it doesn't really matter that much. We can just do, like, a, a function that does that same thing. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay, so it's a uh, function so that picks a... Uh, yeah, representation there. It's a function that picks the kind and returns a 2D array, basically. Well, uh, let's we make instance. So let me just compile this and we got an error because... Uh, by the way, that kind in the side of init are, should Oops. that be a symbol? Yes, that yeah. will be a symbol. Uh, what did I do? No, no, wrong? what I mean is on line 7, mm -hmm. you have kind. Oh. Should this yeah. have colon before? Oh, right. No, no. Yeah, this is a neat arg. Uh, so okay. this should be like... <coughs> it's not a default. This is like to pass a kind thing. Mm -hmm. Like when you define, you pass this. Like this. But we need to define it's some sort of kinds, yeah. right? We need to define kinds, Error right? Lock package violated when the... Uh, wait, Lemus. It's not a sum type. No, I know it. It's not, but I, we need to define some sort of names for those things. Did I do something wrong here? <laughs> Globally declaring f type of set f position while in package letters. Okay, so what is a f type? That's the first question. No idea. That's set f position. Mm. Do you what have do you a warning actually? there? Let me try one thing. Uh, where's you the... have a warning that class, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Man. This is annoying. I shouldn't flip like this. <laughs> uh, I <think laughs> start. How nice. Oh, so, the guy is saying that is already uh there is already a function called position. Oh that sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't I have a function called position. Thing. I forgot to evolve thing. Well we can just call POS, right? Uh POS? What do you mean? Posi oh, for pos, <laughs> yeah, position. Yeah, <laughs> Nathan is learning how to name things uh, currently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh Lemos, one thing that I learned is oh, it's okay you use those stuff, but it's really good if you write a documentation file uh, with a table uh, explaining the oh, yeah. abbreviations that you are using. Oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. I saw Eduardo doing that, and man, oh, it's so nice. Yeah, it's cool. Uh... I did that when you can, you, when you always have the option of not reading the documentation. <laughs> what a champ! It's not even docs. It's like just for developers <laughs> looking at the code. Yeah, and who reads code, man? <laughs> well, who wants to write it, right? <laughs> okay, so I have a question now. Also, is is it compiling, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, so, so what is this kind it? thing about? Because Na Nathan said that this is not a sum type. So okay, so you need arg. This is wrong. Let me just no, check. No, uh, Lemus is basically a string. You can imagine is right? as is this been? I'm not sure. I think the guy was saying that you need the column before the kind. So. Yeah, before, I think you need yeah, it. But like, but yeah, but where here? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, that doesn't seem well, well take a look on the docs like the class definition yeah that's it okay i i, I thought this would be okay if this makes sense but i was thinking you would confu confuse with this okay so the if the kind is just sense. a string can we make literals like um huh? better yeah. names and like j we're gonna use just j and uh, s why and not o? that's the okay. actual name right yeah, okay man. so let's just let's uh, go yeah. So we have already a T here, so... Wait, what no, the fuck is the T piece? I don't, I, don't, I don't think this is gonna compile, though. The T, man. No, 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 the T piece. Look at line two up, uh, two up, yes. What is... 
uh, T piece at the end. What do you mean? It's a symbol. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I thought you write the symbol with. Oh, I was confusing with like ruby and elixir and stuff. Oh, okay, you okay. Like this is when you pass a, a tick, like a quote, mm -hmm. a symbol quote before the thing, it makes it a symbol. So, for example, let me try on the record. Is this a kind? Like, well, yes. Oh man. So, for example, T here. It's simple a T, right? But if I post like this, then it's also a T. Uh, if I do A, then it's an A. So that's a symbol. If I pass like A, then it's an error because it's uh, trying no, to no, find no. a variable. That's, yeah, but the thing that, that triggered me is that you are specifying that the uh, quote T piece is, a, is the kind of the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, think that as of being a string, but with another meaning behind it. Because if you have two T pieces, or symbols, they are the same, but strings, I don't think that necessarily they are the same. No, 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 I got it, I got it, that's fine. Uh, oh, oh so wait, wait, okay. just to explain, I think, and I could be deadly wrong here, but I think that if you would check, like, physically, with physically comparison, the symbols would be the same, but not the strings. Mm, no, 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 I don't know if I understood what you uh, said, but... Anyway. So, okay, if I create a string Nathan and compare it with okay. string Nathan, but I'm oh, not I comparing can... structurally, I'm comparing physically, they can be yeah. different. So there are five mm -hmm. But with matching. symbols, that doesn't happen. They are always equal, so, physically and structurally. So look at here, equals, uh, it's matching Nathan and Nathan, so it's wrong because it's not comparing the... <coughs> oh man, how oh, horrible. Uh, if I, I think there is equal, so this is also thing. There is Which one is the physical the one, Magetta? So what's the difference between the content? Oh, but the guy is saying that the EQ, the it's the physical one. It checks like the addresses, the reference for so it. If I do. Oh, okay. The reference is a better way for me to say Lemos. The oh, reference. now I see. It's always the same. Yes. <laughs> I'm a C programmer. You piece of shit. <laughs> I, now I, I got it. Aren't you like a Rust programmer or something? No, I'm not. I, I think I saw you doing some Rust, man. <laughs> no, but I was just so playing here, around for tomorrow. So EQ and I'm checking like both, then it's true. But if I okay. check EQ with a string like Nata, ah, Nata, should just copy the thing, right? If I check this, Nata, then it's new. Because the it's reference true, is different, right? Like yeah, yeah, the memory revision is different, right? Yep. Okay, and okay, okay. Have dinner. This is a classic <laughs> bug, a bug, bug in low level stuff. Uh, let me just uh, see one thing here. Please, I think we can get the thing. Wait, Lemus, what do you mean? Why don't you use integers instead of strings in C? <laughs> no, no, these sort of problems, like when you're when you're having a bunch of diff different equal functions and oh. they have this sort of difference, oh. the, right. the, the developer needs to know this. That, oh, this equal is actually like the reference and this other is for the actual internal content. Mm. So look uh, here, that's what I was thinking. We have so that we can in... do, So we, okay. have, we can get the accessor thingy mm -hmm. by the mm -hmm. name. So like the kind, we can get it like this. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. that's the thing. So now we have to make a function with a, a probably like seven... Oh man, that's going to be sad. A seven a cones for? for picking a kind mm -hmm. and discovering the 4x4 four four matrix for it. So... Wait, discover Wait, can you repeat? I was yes, out of focus. Okay, so I'm proposing that you create a function or a method, uh, probably a method mm -hmm. would be better, that picks a kind and okay. uh, with the kind returns us the 4x4 matrix of it. Isn't that the constructor? No, the, not, right now the constructor is returning wait, empty. Wait, wait. Think, of the, think of the type annotation. I can't think before types anymore. So <laughs> what is the type of this thing? Uh, we're going to receive what? Kind? Kind? The first thing. It's a symbol. Kind? Kind? Ah, kind? Thingy, man. Kind? The board? Uh, huh? The board You're not going to check the board. No, no. Uh, it... this is, I'm thinking of collision already. No. So no, 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 no collision now. So it's you just a kind to... itself. Folks, no, folks, that's, folks, that's wait, it, wait, that's it, that's it, let's, that's it. no, wait, let's think in Java, right? Let's, let's think in oh, Java. Oh, no. Yeah, let's think in Java. Uh, okay, like in Java, 
you have a new method, right? That would be the constructor, right? Yes. That would be receiving all the arguments. And inside yes. there, we would be attributing those arguments, maybe with some transformation inside the actual properties of the object that will be created. Yes. Inside that constructor, I want to get the argument of the kind and do a <laughs> if to it. And depending on which kind I'm receiving, I will attribute a different matrix that's to exactly our representation. Okay, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. That's exactly uh, what we're folks, doing. But folks, I need to have dinner. Can okay. you guys like just assume real quick? And I'll be back. Uh, yes. Uh, but then you are gonna have to share the screens. Like we're gonna have to swap given this thing. Oh, here. okay. Do you have a way, uh, Lemus, to do something? Yes, I have a way. I have a way to uh, yeah, code in Lisp. The... But you need to mm -hmm. upload the code, right, Magetta? Yeah, yeah. Not, uh, Magetta needs to to commit this on, on to the and push. Uh, per commit and push. Here. Sorry, I always mean I always mean commit and push. And why is it not okay? Maybe. Oh, did you save the logic file? <coughs> Yes, I okay. think I did. Okay, so yeah. please work, uh, Magit. Please uh, work. Okay. I'm begging you. Please work. Ooh, let's see. So, uh, we logic. I just type this. Okay, I could commit, but let's see if I can push. It's. I think I have to create. And okay, hang on. <laughs> ah. Oh my! He even puts a really difficult password in the VM, man. This guy loves VM, VMs. Mm. He loves. No man, it's my GitHub thing. Oh, that password is the GitHub. Yeah, it's the GitHub. That's weird. That's really weird. Not failed. so weird, I'll actually, just... Limbs. I'll just paste on Discord, man. That's it. <laughs> the code? Oh, what a despair. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what a despair. <laughs> Lisp. There it is. Well, that solves it, right? Yeah, that solves it, but that sucks. I cannot <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Because of, uh, I cannot paste because of Mac. You can send the file, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I can, I think, but I need to log in here. Just a second. On the score? Yeah. Huh? On the VM, because the VM is unrelated, so I can't Oh my god! Oh, you are not being able to copy because they don't share the copy. Oh, I yes. see. Yes. Oh my fucking god. That's a total victory for that WSL in Windows. Just, yes. just to make sure. But I think you can configure that, Lemus, in your programming that you're Yeah, but he didn't. Anyway. Yeah. The fact yeah, is I that didn't. he didn't. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, man. I'll just paste it. What a pain! <laughs> oh, Lemus, now that's your time to... to what's the name? Uh, to shine? There it is. Time to shine, yes. Yeah, yeah that's your time to shine. Here. I'll just mute and I'll be back. Okay, have a good lunch? Dinner. dinner. Have a good have dinner. dinner. Yeah. Uh, so let me see if I have the balls. <laughs> and share your screen, please. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so first things first, I need I will open this in WSL because it makes more sense. Just makes more sense. And then it doesn't compile on your machine. No, it's not gonna compile. I can assure you that. Oh, but you uh, can evaluate, right? I think I can, but Oh We're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. It's gonna be interesting. Uh oh wait. by the way, man, it's already like eight and forty. Yeah, I know, but I think we're gonna have, we're gonna just make a function with a bunch of cones, so it's fine. I just have want to discover here how do I, the heck I make my my DSL for some reason is oh here it's configured to use Arch and Arch is broken in this computer. Your what is configured to use Arch? My WSL VS Visual Studio Code. Why? Because before when I was doing university you with WSL I usually uh, this uh, use man, you need to upgrade to wsl too man oh yeah that's a thing uh okay so this this programming and probably use ubuntu since it's only for compatibility right? but, but i am using ubuntu right now. i have oh. two distros of, of linux in this oh thing. i see i see uh okay so 
he sent the file, so let me create a file. So new file. This is logic.lisp. I will get some bananas meanwhile. Okay, go there. <coughs> okay, so here's the here's the actual thing. And now I can sh let me just close whatever the heck I have here. Um, okay, this is fine. And this is also fine. Okay, I'm back. so as far as I can tell, it's a bunch of cones, but the thing is that I never did this before. I already read Lisp code back in uh, the day. Yeah, but... it's, it's just easy, man. Just come on Lisp code and see the syntax. Uh, okay, so. It's literally like cones, expression of the predicate, expression Spice that you evaluate, exactly. I guess. Okay, but let's pick the names first. Let's make the instances of this thing. Uh, so if you go to Tetris here, okay, so we have an I, so we're gonna have I here. Are you seeing my screen? You are seeing my screen, right? Yes. We have a J. We have the square, which is the letter O, <laughs> S, T, Z, and I'm, I miss some. Yeah, I'm missing one of them. I don't know which one. O, oh, L. Okay. Okay, so these are the our seven. Oh, that would be pieces. so nicer in Haskell, man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You could just oh, do a, yeah. you could just do a line and pattern match the yeah done the sum type. <laughs> uh, I miss types, man. I miss mm, types. By the okay. way, do you have exhaustiveness on this? In Haskell? exhaustive patterns. Uh... No, no, what I mean is when you are doing like different definitions in Haskell, like each one, each one like pattern matching a different thing. Do you have checks for exhaustiveness on this? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how to make a bunch of cons concatenated. I already forgot. Uh, it should be like a list of conditionals. Wait, but uh, oh, you okay, common lisp. Yeah. Uh oh, there's the when. Uh, mm. Yeah, but okay, the con. There you have the con. No, I, I do have, but I think this is cleaner though. Not no way, no way, no way. Uh, go. There, like the cone, you have cones, test, and consequent. It is describing what you want. Okay, so this is basically the condition. Oh, the guy is asking, how would you do this in Haskell? The thing that we were thinking about regarding Haskell is that we could have, instead of the symbols, we could have like a sum type for each yeah. one of the pieces, and then the <laughs> function for create a piece would receive uh, a parameter of this type, and yes. then we could just pattern match that. <laughs> yeah. And in Haskell, Not even pattern match, right? No, no, be... no, no, it's pattern matching, but what I mean is pattern matching by describing different versions of this function. Yes, Each yes, one exactly. dealing with one case of this yes. sum type. Yes. Oh, he's saying we could do the same in, in common list, but how? How though? We don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. As far as I can, we can tell, to make an instance of a piece, we need to pass the kind, and the kind needs to be do this individually. This is not that far off from. Oh, the hey, hey, Hask hey! He's saying that you could write in Haskell, and he could translate for you. Mm, okay, uh, I can try to do that later. Uh, we just have fourteen minutes here, so uh, oh, we want yeah. to get things a little bit ongoing. But I have a question, though. This, mm. this doesn't seem to be what I want. It is a condition, testing is the predicate, and consequent is what you want to evaluate, I guess. And this is what? It's the other one, <laughs> I guess. No, so this is the else of this. Uh, no, I don't think so. The else is each one of those conditions. The else would be the last one, the test would be a true, I guess. Nah. But not sure. I think this is more like what we want, though. 
Well, it's it, exactly would what be, I said. it would be easier, right, for you to... You see here mm. that, like, you, you, may, you have a condition, and then if it passes the test, you do the action one. Mm -hmm. And then this is the action one, mm. as far as I can tell. Yeah, but... And this is the... Oh, no, so this is exactly like a switch case. Okay, this is fine. No, no look at the top, right? The, this first block of code on that page. Here? Yeah, condition, the keyword, then you have just like tests and actions. That's simple. Yeah, it's exactly what I said, a switch case. Uh, def fun. Uh, uh, this is going to be, I don't know, make representation. I don't know how the heck. Uh, and we're going to receive what in this particular case? Uh, do all of that needs to be inside parentheses? I suspect so. No, 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 this. The death one and stuff. Oh, I also guess so. So this will be the arguments inside this guy, as far as I can tell. And okay. here we're going to receive a kind, right? Something like this. I or it's like this. I have no idea. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, functions in common lisp. <coughs> oh man, I'm excited for tomorrow. Oh, okay. You need ju you need just kinds, just kind. Oh, just kind. Okay, yeah. so that's fine. And then the body. And now and now we do the cond. Um, hmm, that looks okay. Yeah, then you need this battle in the end. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the cone here... Can you put that is... first cone to a, another line and not on the right of the cones? Because it's you not... Mean... It's oh, it's this not, one. It's not, no, 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 the opposite. You see the first one? That Yeah, just break that line. Just press enter, yeah, and then indent, and also break the other... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Now it's, it's right, right? The first one is the test. The oh, okay, I see. Yeah. I think the list play would, would be like this. I have no idea, but it's good enough for me. Okay, so this is basically the like test. kind. I don't know if this is the equal, whatever. No, no, wait. I, I think they are all prefixed, right? So it's probably like equal, kind, and then... Kind. No, 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 no. Uh, Equal, maybe, probably, it's the first thing that you, yeah. No, no, that's, it's the same thing as, uh, yeah, it's prefixed operators, right? It's the, a lambda calculus and a bunch of other languages also accept this. Oh, yeah, the least way to do it is not leave the, the parentheses by itself, the guy is saying. Also, it's only one equals, <laughs> not two equals. You are not doing JavaScript. This is also the equals in Haskell, though. And C. And C. Wait, in is Haskell? Is this correct? Yeah. In what? Haskell, we do this. <laughs> because, it doesn't, because it doesn't make sense to do this. Because we have lats in Haskell. Okay. Ocamel has lats and also use these as equals. Like that's only bad. One. That's, that's just lazy. That's not. <laughs> yeah, it's just having a lazy parser. <laughs> not really. Um, but, yeah, I okay. think that's right. Okay, and then this will return the hashtag, mm. this. Uh. <laughs> Not sure if you need parentheses. I, I don't know. I don't think you need parentheses there. But that's the thing. How we make... The out the... parentheses. Oh. This one? The, the blue ones? The yellow one. Oh. On the right. This? No, the right. Oh, here. Yeah, I don't think you need that. Okay. How do we make it through the array? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't we have the make array and pass in this? Stuff? No, but the make array, uh, we pass the dimensions of the things. We don't want the dimensions. Is always oh, the same. we want from a list, right? Yes. Mm. Uh, That's uh, interesting. Yeah. From list, common lisp. Convert between. No, oh, this is exactly what we want. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so it's... Oh, so it has an option or whatever. List, length, list. Uh... First list. Wait, is uh... this what I... No, that would be bad. No. Oh, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> you pass the length 
and then ah. the initial contents for it. Oh, I see, I see. Ah. Well, it's not that bad, man. Oh, man. Why don't we have make array from list? I mean, then no, no, just no, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that could be up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, I can. Why? Oh, oh, can you go on the mm -hmm. the Twitch? The guy just shared the link. With uh, copy code. that link for me for, for later. Uh, um, no, no, so for now. What are you guys doing? Uh, how can I copy that? We are trying to make this, man. We are trying. <coughs> uh, uh, let me see. We are uh, trying to make a condition. Oh, I cannot uh, copy that. We don't. We don't need this. Also, uh, yeah. We just need to do how we are doing this, or like this, four by four. Okay. Uh, code share. Holy Jesus! And this list. Um, uh, I think that the Stack Overflow post kind of assumes that this is a list of lists. Is that right, Nathan? Hmm. Oh, I, hey, 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 one thing, maybe, oh, actually... can you use that? Man, look at the link that I sent on, on the Discord chat for <laughs> letters. Wait, what was the question? I didn't even get it. Uh, creates an LA from list. Yeah, this is just converting. No, no, uh, okay, this can work, this can work. Uh... So instead of doing this, we're just going to call this. Is that it? But then we're going to have to change the yeah, you list need, to whatever. You have too much parentheses, Len. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, you, this you one is extra. One. Here. And here we're going to pass a list of lists. Is that right? Uh, I guess so. Holy Jesus. I think this is gonna convert this to an array of lists. That would be bad. If oh. that is even a thing. Oh, try, I don't know. I'm just okay. guessing. So, let's suppose that we want to make a T. So, a T would be zero. Oh, he also saying that. One, oh, hey, you need to one, use one, another. One, you need to use other kind of comparison for the symbol. Not yeah. the equals, the yes. E Would be what in this particular case, Magetta? A Q, maybe. Okay, so I I will create a convention. That oh, this hey, is the T. he's saying E Q L for symbol. What's the difference, okay. Magetta? Good question. I don't know what. <laughs> Check the make the difference like in the REPL. Let's see. I don't have the REPL. I know that E. Q works for symbols as well, but I don't know what is the difference to equal. Behaves mostly like you know, but I'm sure the numbers with the same type and value are equal. Oh, the type, right? It's a shirt that's another symbol. Is that it? No. Like the numbers no. with the same type? and. I, I think types is talking about like um, a float and an integer. EQ behaves most likely equal... EQ uh, is for references, true. right? Oh, so we want the uh, EQL. I think it doesn't matter. Yeah, but yeah, we want. Let's use this for now. Okay, so I will try one zero one zero one zero zero here, and then one 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 zero. Oh, that's the theory. Right? <laughs> uh, oh and this God. is also missing um, a more another one, and then zero zero. Oh man, that's so brute force. I think <laughs> oh, some, something else that we could do is instead of like using zeros and ones, we could use like a cell type or a struct or something, right? And then it could have a color. That's fine, but I think we are already yeah, mixing not the, for now. the graphical representation with the logic thing, whatever. No, not really. It's we don't have we, don't, don't, we don't need a color for the logic, that's what I'm saying. Uh it depends. It doesn't say anything regarding to a specific rendering. Oh man, that's gonna suck. Seven. Man, this looks so <laughs> <laughs> parenthesis hell by the way. <laughs> I just look at the colors, like the colors is the saving grace. 
Okay, so J. O. And, I, and by the way, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to to commit this, and then Maget, you're gonna have to run in your compiler because you you're the only one with oh, a you compiler. You can't run there. <laughs> I can't because this is the this is the. I don't have the any way to do the hot reload. I could oh, open okay. the compiler here and load the file. That could work. Oh, but you can like copy and paste each instruction, each inst each instruction to the REPL. Oh yeah, I could do that. Uh, <laughs> oh, but if you want me to do that, I can. Okay, so the S <laughs> is zero, one, no, zero, one, one, and then you have the images uh, there. One in the middle. One, one. zero. Yeah. No, 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 wait. What the? Is that the S? Yeah, this is the S. I the oh, S okay, I see. One in the middle? Yeah, because oh, no, don't have I, a middle. Think... We don't have a middle. Yeah. It I, I doesn't really of, like, matter in going... which part of the matrix it is. I was thinking of X, S taking like three rows, but I think that's right. Actually, kind of matters, Nathan. Not really. Not for I collision. Think it... Not for collision, but for rotation, I think it matters. No, not for... Drop not for uh, rotating also. Oh wait, maybe the. I'm just gonna yolo it, so we we can deal with the rotation me. later. Uh, what? Everybody's lost here. Yeah, now I'm not <laughs> sure. Maybe it matters. We're gonna, we're gonna test, man. We we are not lost. We know what we're doing. Yeah, but you have it to it, it sure. would be funny to like rotate and see the thing like change. <laughs> Yeah, it would be funny, but it's easier, right? It's just change yeah, online. and also that is not a problem because the collision wait, wait, will be the same. What? 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 Uh, shouldn't that be on the first line or on the first column instead? On the L, the E. Sorry. Uh, kind of doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right? Like for <laughs> now, it doesn't. But we can adjust later. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be easy to change. The first position, and then like you start by that. But I think it doesn't matter really. Yeah, but it's it it it. it, it if it matters later, we can just change one line of code. Oh, instead. okay, okay. Uh, look at the link that the guy sent, man. Okay, that's much nicer. I don't, I don't, I'm not receiving any links. Uh, anyway. Wait a second. Oh, okay. Uh, the guy is using the switch, per se. This is like a... Make representation. Oh, so we have cases in here. Uh, awesome. Okay. Th uh, okay yeah, what's have, what's what's his name, Anatan? Uh, uh, his name is Commander Trashdin. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Okay, so I'm you sorry. You can call Commander. Commander. Okay, so thanks, Commander. What a name! <laughs> <laughs> he's commanding us, and he's right. We should listen. Uh, Chick. Oh yeah, you are deleting the, the ticks, but you need it, right? Or do, you don't? No, I don't think we need it. And then you should remove those. Oh. Okay, this is nicer. Uh, and now we are, I did a, here, right now the J. Uh, what is the J? Okay, the J is the other L. Uh, so it's uh, like this. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> that <laughs> representation. <laughs> what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer to be like this? I then... prefer to be like, well, it doesn't matter for me. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's, let's like make one. it like this. So one, <laughs> and then wait, but is this the J? This is not the J. This is this the, the L. No, this is right? the J. No, this is the J. The oh no, J? sorry, okay, wait. They're gonna rotate. No, that's right. That's right. That's, that's the, the J. that's the J. That's the J. Okay, nice. It's just the J, like in clockwise, full clockwise. Full clockwise, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the square, it kind of makes sense to be in the middle, right? Can we agree on that? Uh, I, I think that in the well. future, we will find what is the right way to do it. <laughs> okay. But for now, you can what do whatever. What a champ. Yeah, but for now, you can do whatever, man. What a champ. Uh, what would be literal arrays, Magetta, in Commonlisp? It's literal arrays? Yeah. <laughs> I f you're talking about like a char representation? No, no, no. Like, like we do it like lists. 
right? Like literal lists. We use like the tick and do it list and then we convert to array. He's saying that we could do like literal arrays. That would be a lot better, right? A literal array of two dimensions. How to do it? Literal array. Oh, he's talking about the like uh, hashtag two a. Oh, like this? he has on the same link. Wait, let me see. I think he's talking about the oh, hashtag. Oh, yeah, that's it. Hashtag. Oh. Yeah, when you do like make array, uh, do uh, an example. Ah, oh, you can't run right limbs. I can't uh, run, but the make array is up here. Uh, if you yeah, can this, stack this, this, open a repo. This. Open the repo, man. Which repo? Oh, hey, man! Terminal. Look at the Terminal link. Type SBCL. Oh, man, that's much nicer. At Lemos, we have a better way to type that, man. Uh, Take a look on the link. Way. It's a lot nicer. Yeah, it's the way. Oh, it's because it's it. it's taking into consideration the 2 dness of the thing. Yes, that's uh. what I was saying. Like, <laughs> type on, that's why I said like type on the repo because you would see that. <laughs> but like hashtag. Man, that that way that we are doing is so cursed. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, Nathan, what's the shortcut to find the same things in Control in D? Control D. depends on what you mean by Control D would yeah, select D. all it's of exactly them. What I, it's exactly what I wanted. Uh, so let's need this. So let's need okay, this. Visual Studio. Oh, I no. use I, I use Emacs. Don't I don't use that. So. <laughs> I, I was about to say that now he's a VS Code master. Uh, what the? Uh, okay. Do do, I'm transforming to, to the other. Yeah, whatever. now you need to wrap that, right? Uh, yeah, just add the hashtag. Uh, hashtag Chue. No, no, you need yeah. more parentheses, yeah. Lemos. Yeah, oh, no. You need another parentheses. <laughs> so after the Chue. No, no, no. After the Chue, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And before and the, the other yellow that is closing. Before, well, one, one more, yeah. yeah actually, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Um, I think that's right. Check. Yeah, just ident those. Think, no, actually, look at the red parentheses. There's something broken. Yeah, no, there's something oh. broken. I'll fix them. Uh, oh, okay, so, because you have too much, like, ending parentheses on all the first ones, right? Yeah, you just need to go through the purple. No, okay. now blue. Yeah. Only three. Oh, that's much nicer. Holy fuck. I'm I'm relieved. <laughs> okay, I think this is oh oops. Uh, did you I... the wrong? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so is this <laughs> this is the representation? So colorful. Uh now instead of doing this we just call Oh whoa, uh, case kind representation. You are doing just case, function. right? Function, function, parentheses. Oh, I, I, for, I always forget uh, this. Wait, wait, line, line 23. You are only do casing, but not casing anything in specific. Case what? kind. Case line, kind? Line 33. Three. You have okay. case, but case what? Right? Oh, case kind. You need a kind, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is this, and then that's it? We need to receive a kind. Uh, can you tell reference? No, I no, you don't. But can you self-reference the thing? Like because this is another attribute from this guy. I think you can. What do you mean by self-reference? Kind is an attribute of peace. Uh, does it understand that it's like recursive? Like going back to an attribute of this guy, or is it gonna? Oh, is this in okay. The scope? Like I that's see. my question. I don't I know how to I answer your question. Do. I think you do. Uh. Okay, I will commit this and you pull. Not my, my get. He's saying that you cannot self reference in unit for. You need to in. You need an initialize instance method. Okay. By the way, uh, we are not accounting for that, right? But when we are doing streams and recording and archiving what we are doing, we also have the opportunity to meet people that can teach us the language and the yeah. stuff. No, but that, that was totally no, but that was that was totally the, the why I said I, I told you no when you asked, oh can can I stream this? I said yes, of course. Exactly because of networking, man. Oh I I, I was There's not thinking about like initialize that's like, search for do you have completion lemons? Yeah, uh, he's he's like writing, I guess, in the Hapo Remus. Well, not I in the Hapo, in the code share. Instance. 
Initialize. I don't know if I have that. Uh, parentheses, initialize instance, something like this. It should be there. Initi. No, I don't. Uh, it's just yeah, all so my the function is initialize instance, and you pass an instance, which is a standard object with the keys. Oh, the guy's typing, right? Let me see. Uh, yeah, she, see on the code share. Let me check. Yeah. Which one? We have two. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, one. it's the same. Okay. Initialize. Hmm. Uh, it's still not updated to me. It's also not updated to me. Um, by the way, folks, I guess we don't have time to like finish this part of creating the different kinds, right? And then we end the stream because it's our best nine. Third defeat. <laughs> um, no, no, no. We did anything, man. Uh, yeah, no, no, but we we did the 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 piece in the board. It's fine. Yeah, I think this is gonna be better soon because uh, we we were defining things, right? Okay. All right. So, so we make do... an instance. So let me paste uh, there. Advanced. So we make it like this. We make a death method. Initialize instance Advanced after time tick. some object. Uh, I pasted on the, the code. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, spawn a piece. Oh, wait, can you can you copy our code there, Lemus, on the code share? Do you like Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and Ctrl V on the code share? Why it, would I do that? Uh, because he wants to write the way to uh to write that function for you but well he needs to see the code right oh this okay all of this you mean you don't need all but it can be better and my eyes are burning <laughs> my eyes are burning okay to do spawn advanced time tick spawn a piece in the grid and treat collision with the board uh, advanced time tick doesn't really have to do with us. Like we don't have a tick in our. No, we do. No, no, no. We're gonna have to. No, 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 we're gonna no, no. have to have Wait, a, no, some no. sort of time uh, management. Lemus, Lemus. We only need to be. How can I say? We will probably not implement that, right? Because we have that on the rendering part, if I'm not mistaken, right, Mageta? Oh, an OpenGL, you mean? No, no, but that that is not oh, what like we are not talking about the same thing, Nata. We need time management because at each tick we need to make the the piece goes goes down. Yeah, but he's talking. We can do this on the graphics, like like you remember how we did yeah, it that... on gloss. Like mm -hmm. we didn't have anything to do with tick. Like the <laughs> thing was managing for us, and we were reacting on that. That's the same. Oh, that so I you think. are assuming that OpenGL does this for us? Well, he does because you as he's changing position, yeah. he needs time, right? Yeah, OpenGL is basically a, a loop that keeps running, like rendering stuff. To do, um, treat. Like, I, I don't think you can have movement without like ticks, right? Without time. Oh man, user input, I think, will be a little huh? obscure. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay, because yeah. OpenGL doesn't yeah. handle with that. At least we don't have to manage click, which I know is a pain in OpenGL. Like you need to convert the click in the in the world you have. Like that's a whole pain. Okay, so what do you guys think about this list of to dos? Uh... You know, guys, I think it's a good idea for us to make this quick this tick function without OpenGL, so we can test on the main. Yes, I also agree with that. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's that's uh, valid for testing. Yeah. Um. So what do you guys think about this? Um, so oh, and this is gonna be oh, oh Mageta, your comment was is is huge because this will allow us to tr to to debug collision one by one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have advanced time tick. We have a spawn a piece in the board. I would consider this to be actually easier uh, than the first one. Uh, yes, I think and, so. And then treat user in because this is basically uh uh or right. Or uh, treat user uh, input, we are gonna have to do both in the this tick thing and in the open gel. So that there are two things. Like and yeah, it, it's a little weird, Lemus, because see for spawning a piece and like oh okay, spawning a piece, it's literally just instantiating that class. But if you want to move in some way, you will need to treat the collision every step. 
Um, I agree, but we, no, collision is for later. Co we, this is the okay, last. So part. when you say spawning, is just instantiating that class because that no, be it's spiny. not instantiating because instantiating a piece does not drawing put it board. inside the board. No, no, but yes. what it puts inside the board is the drowning, is the rendering, not the data. Not now, no, not now. Okay. We are we are making oh, a clear separation. Oh, I see. The rendering for us could be the print, right? Oh, I see. I see. Yes. I see. Yes. Same thing with gloss that we did. Here is the rotation. Oh, that would be <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I don't think so. Uh, we think mm -hmm. is transposing the matrix. Like the only trick regarding rotation is just treating collision. And that's what you already be doing for other stuff. Yeah. Okay, so if, after all of these to-dos, we, we have the game. Maybe. And then Maybe. we open the <laughs> And then... Oh, by the way, the guy uh, did the initialize instance for us on the code chart. <laughs> Two lines. Two lines? What a boss. Holy. What a... I, feel I feel trash, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're still learning, my goodness. Where are the things? Let me see. <laughs> oh, okay, I see here. Okay, so I copy pasted. I uh, thanks, Commander, for oh, your uh, immeasurable um, uh, willing, willing, willingness for helping us. Yeah, for teaching us all this. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm. I need to understand. I want to understand exactly what this is doing because this is basically uh, defining a method. I don't know what this like is after, after is. Mm. Uh, that's just a. I might be wrong, but I I would guess it's just a, uh, a thing to say after you generate the actual piece, get the thing and like set the method. So it's doing like a set f with the representation of the object. So it's getting the thing. So setting the reference for the uh. thing that you're creating, which is the function. So it's like a post instantiation, like. I think so. I don't know because. Okay, well, so sure. th what is this then, uh, Mageta? A key is basic. Oh, wait, a key? You mean? No, no, all of these. So, object, piece. I think this is the final. Object is the type, the... right? How yeah. You pass the things to the method. You basically yes. do like item or object, you pass the name. So. Yes, and this is. <laughs> uh, you, you have a key arcs for the thing. So, like, you have rest, you have uh, key, you have. <laughs> I forgot the other ones. Mm -hmm. um, which is, which one like alters the behavior of the following uh, things in the parameters? So you can pass new things by the, the uh, by the column. So for example, you can pass like a, I don't know, think of something like X, something like this, and then you can pass a, a thing in there. No, but wait, I'm not understanding. <laughs> what's the? I still not didn't uh, get what is the purpose of this key, because it's not being used here. Good question. I don't know. On there, I don't know. Interesting. I think I got what this is doing. Because here, he, here's the implementation. Like you can do this. Let me send you a thing. Oh, okay. He's explaining on the chat regarding the after limbs. Can you see the okay. chat? I can go there. Yes. Here, for example, the. Let me send you here. Uh, after is a method qualifies that has to do with the inheritance. Okay. Without inheritance, it simply means that first the object is created, then the thing is called. Which means, which makes sense it's since like you hook, want right? it to, to be created to be able to access its fields. Uh, okay, so it's after is a method the key. qualifies that has to do with the inheritance. Without inheritance, it simply means that first the object is created, then the thing is called, which makes sense. The first is created, then the thing is called. Oh, okay. So this is basically saying, okay, creates the object for me, and after it calls this. Like a hook, right? Yes, exactly. As a, it's a, uh, I would say a very primitive version of a use effect, Nata. No, 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 I don't mean hook in a React way. <laughs> I mean hook in like git hook or hook for your commands in package.json. Mm -hmm. Like is, okay, you have an action A, 
and you have a hook pre that and is post like, that. Uh, Emacs, is it like Emacs advice? Something like this? I don't know what is that. Like yeah, after Emacs. you call a thing on Emacs, uh, if you uh, you can. Have oh, then you. Oh, okay, Emacs, yeah. But... Then you uh, get a hook for doing something after that, right? Yeah, a hook is actually doing something when you see something like that, but a device is literally applying something in the function. So I don't know if there is any difference. Oh. Is the name of the argument? No, that that's that part is clear. Uh, the object piece. So you're basically mm. making a relationship between this initialize and which object is initializing after it's created. My question is the key. The key is what oh, is the piece? key is basically. If you want to pass a thing, like, check the, I sent on the general. Can you share that? Uh, I'm looking at it, uh, so... So, we basically have... Uh, let me go this. here as well. So, here. You, that thing will expand to, uh, like, you have Radix, like, or something else. Mm -hmm. So, that thing will expand to uh, Radix, which is, like, you can access via the key. So, via the name of the thing. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. This is the same thing, thing as this? After. Yes, but there's nothing after that, so that's what I I am confused. Like I don't know. Uh, he's saying that it's just part of the method signature. Okay. And the as you don't need to... any key, you just don't pass anything. You don't need any keys here, so okay. okay so... so if I wanted, I could pass like a thing and modify the behavior of this thing, I guess. Okay, so apparently this key is an optional thing to access oh, things okay. in the piece. You see on the make instance that you can pass like kind, for example? Yes. Look at line 25. Yeah, I think it's because if you want to do this something similar, something like this. Like, I don't know, changing the after. I don't know. I'm just like guessing. Okay, this is kind of confusing, but I, uh, the rest of it, I, I kind of got it. So we have, uh, we are setting the uh, representation field inside this thing that initially is new within uh, of the object, and we are setting with this make representation thing, picking the kind from the object, which is fine. Uh, if an initialize instance method is specialized on a particular class that doesn't specify a key parameter, that parameter becomes a legal parameter to make instance when creating an instance of that class. Um. Becomes a legal parameter to make instance. Wait. I think that oh, legal, you mean me. mandatory? Uh, which is, okay, so I think key is actually like, uh, yeah, it's making things mandatory, like legal or optional, something like, that. it seems to me to be like that, uh, which is kind of, okay, I guess, that's just saying that you don't need to add anything after key. Is okay. Is parameter a thing from O, like a, a random... I have no clue. I have no clue. What I have a clue is that we are already past the time, 20 minutes. Yeah, we need to just test this if it's returning what you want, depending on the kind. I need to push this then. Uh, let's do the following though. Let's end here. Okay. And Mageta, can you test this offline? Just to see if we have... Uh, we can see the, the, the piece representation on the, on the compiler REPL. Probably it's right if it's not like parentheses wrong. Yeah, okay. So start the OpenGL. Uh, eating us anyway, so. Okay. Yeah, no, the, 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 the commander is the common lisp king, apparently. Are, yeah. <laughs> he commands, we act. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue this on Thursday then, and tomorrow is Rust. I'm excited. Oh, oh, wait, to, oh, fuck, tomorrow? <laughs> oh yes. my god, I totally forgot about that. Oh, okay. Oh, you have a thing tomorrow? Uh, no, no, I just forgot. <laughs> oh, okay. Because today is a backup day, right? Yeah, uh, I, I forgot that we have Mondays and Thursdays. Yeah. I, I always think that we do things on Tuesday for some reason, <laughs> instead of Monday. <laughs> I don't know no. why. Yeah, so tomorrow is Rust and tomorrow uh, Huffman. Huffman again. Mm, okay. Uh, bye, Commander. Uh, so thanks for the support. Okay. Thanks for the we'll be tips. Finish now. <laughs> and thanks, Commander, again for showing up and teaching us stuff. So yeah. See ya. Bye bye.